They left their homes in a hurry. Bed sheets, rugs and blankets. Here, they try to use whatever they can to provide a roof over their heads. They are among the thousands who have been forced to leave Kunduz in the north of Afghanistan. This amid intense fighting between government forces and the Taliban. The insurgents have already captured the surrounding districts and the main border crossing with Tajikistan. Since foreign troops started pulling out of Afghanistan on May the 1st, the Taliban have made significant gains. They claim to have seized 90 of the country's 400 districts, including near the capital, Kabul. Civilian casualties have been on the rise. Their offensive intensified after the US President Joe Biden decided to pull some 3,500 remaining troops out of Afghanistan by September the 11th. Around 7,000 other NATO forces are also leaving with the Americans. In April, the Taliban backed out of an international conference hosted by Turkey, aimed at accelerating a peace process that started last year. There was hope that the talks would result in a ceasefire agreement. Here they've had a chance. At a meeting with Afghan President Ashraf Ghani at the White House on Friday, Biden pledged continued U.S. support for the country, but stressed that it's up to Afghans to decide their own future.